Hello and welcome back to Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion. This week we're gonna head out to Jupiter where the Juno spacecraft readies to spend five more years exploring the Jovian system. Next we travel far out in space and back in time, exploring the oldest quasar ever seen by astronomers. Finally, We'll, we will examine the remains of a star that exploded 1,700 years ago, piecing together details of a supernova long lost to history. The Juno spacecraft is ready to continue exploring Jupiter and its dozens of moons as NASA extends its mission lifetime to 2025. The robotic explorer recently spotted radio waves coming from Ganymede, one of the largest moons of Jupiter, and these are likely the result of the movement of electrons. By passing close to several moons in the system, the Juno spacecraft will be able to enter a smaller, faster orbit around the planet, offering additional opportunities for scientific discovery. Astronomers have found the most distant quasar ever seen. Uh, seen more than 13 billion light years from Earth, J0313-1806 is seen fully formed as it appeared when the cosmos was just 5% of its current age. Now, quasars are centered on supermassive black holes within distant galaxies. These bodies were thought to be formed from the merger of smaller black holes, but this method is far too slow to produce such a body so quickly. Researchers suggest that this ancient quasar may have formed from vast quantities of cold hydrogen gas falling into a supermassive black hole. Looking deep into the universe, we see backwards in time. And the oldest light in the universe holds secrets to how everything around us will, one day, end. Meanwhile, stars, planets, and galaxies dance in an intricate ballet, occasionally giving birth to life. We are fledgling species just beginning to visit other worlds. We are a way for the universe to understand itself. The Cosmic Companion strives to bring the universe down to Earth, and we depend on your help to make it happen. For information on subscriptions and ways to donate to this program, please visit thecosmiccompanion.net. Thank you. Astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope examined a pair of images taken of a nebula called, wait for it, 1E0102.2-7219. By examining the material still racing from the center of this nebula, researchers were able to determine this supernova explosion was seen on Earth 1700 years ago but only by people in the Southern Hemisphere, leaving behind no known records of the event. Future instruments, including the James Webb Space Telescope, will allow astronomers better looks at this nebula with the catchy name. Join us each week on Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion, as we bring space and astronomy news and education together with groundbreaking scientists directly to listeners and viewers around the globe. Subscribers to our VIP newsletter see every episode of this show a day before the general public. We depend on support from viewers just like you. For ways to help support this program, including VIP subscriptions, please visit thecosmiccompanion.net forward slash support. Please stay safe, 
stay healthy, and keep your wonder alive. If you enjoyed this episode of Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion, please download and share the episode on YouTube, Facebook video, or on any major podcast provider. For more details on space and astronomy news, please visit thecosmiccompanion.com or thecosmiccompanion.net.